that are out. I'm so excited. So it seems like in Tima's playing big sister and then this youngster. I'm not too sure. Oh. Looks like a little bear, doesn't So this one is probably just about two almost reaching three months old. It seems like some of the spots are starting to come out, which normally happens when they're about this age, if I'm not mistaken. But when they are born, they're very small and tiny and cute and entirely dark. So it seems like its head has started becoming lighter and I see a few tiny little spots that are starting to show on its back. Oh, that is too much. That is too much. This has been wonderful. You guys are incredibly cute. What are you looking at there? Mel, you're saying you're saying what a sweet little face and that you love hyenas. Oh, I do too. I think they are just probably Disney is to blame for giving them such bad reputation in the Lion King, but honestly, look at the <laughs> Oh my god. I think my heart just melted. That is too much. That is incredibly sweet. Finding the best spot to sleep on top of Antima. Keeping each other company. Now I'm sure Antima has proven to be a playmate for this youngster and the same uh, for the same way the other way around. <laughs> Keeping each other entertained. And still being quite vulnerable and adorable with one another. <laughs> Wonder if Intima's gonna, uh, or if the little cub is gonna try to get on top of Intima to get back to the hole, or if it's just perhaps enjoying just seeing everything that's around it. Because you haven't seen us too much, have you? Not too many vehicles all around. Hmm. Oh, so sweet. I think someone's tired. Beautiful, big, roundy ears. <laughs> Din extra you're saying cuteness overload. I completely agree with you. We've got a very brave hyena just <laughs> on top of another hyena. And I wonder if it's for comfort, or for comfort, or also to be able to look a bit. Of you know, past us. And maybe it just feels a bit more comfortable retreating into the hole and away from and away from Intima. So it's there's at least one hyena in between us and the little one. I don't think it's too worry. Had it, had it been very, very scared, it would have run into the hole, but perhaps it's getting a bit cold. And instinct kicks in. They know that when there are certain things around them, things that they are a bit unsure about, because like I said, we've only just refound the hyenas at their den side so this youngster hasn't seen too many vehicles around hasn't heard too many voices so i think it's doing exactly what it's supposed to just being a very clever hyena and just making sure that worst case scenario if we were something that it didn't really like it could just run all the way down but i think the fact that it runs a little bit and then comes out and hasn't completely hidden away just shows that slowly but surely it's going. Uh, it's starting to get used to us being around here because it knows that we're not going to do anything to it, and we mean no harm. Stevie, you're saying it's got beautiful eyes. Well, I think they're very expressive, especially when it's pondering about something. And yesterday, it's almost like Intima was being very naughty, and she knew it. <laughs> Very curious. That is already such a typical adult hyena pose, the way that it stretches its face and puts its ears in our direction to try and have a glance. <laughs> Very sweet. Rashni, you're saying I need to say to Tristan that there's competition for Tamba the poser because this little one is so cute. <laughs> I think that is true. We even had almost like a hyena slash leopard pose when it was lying on top of 
and Tima, who is obviously a bit more used to us because it's still sleeping down there very happily. <laughs> that is also such a beautiful <laughs> hyena face. And we've got that little one hiding just behind a paw. <laughs> Very loving. Oh, it's nap time for someone. Still looks quite fluffy. The hair is still so long, so typical of tiny little hyenas. Ken, you're saying that it must be hard for their mother to hunt alone. Well, it can be, but not always will hyenas go hunting alone. If they find something that's a potential prey species or something that they might need help with, then they're very quickly they'll start whooping and attracting the other females onto that particular area so that the other females can come and help. Like, uh, it was, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, we had the four adults pardon, that were coming just from a kill. So they hunted this impala together, fed on this impala, and once everybody was quite happy and full, then they all came back to the mound. What you guys looking at in that direction? Hmm. See, and Tima already knows by instinct to be alert and very careful of everything that might be around her. And even yesterday when we were here, was always very careful and it although it was quite brave and exploring all, all around every now and again when it heard the franklins moving in the bushes or the squirrels on the trees it would run straight back to mom and pretend that you know this is this was my plan i'm not scared i'm a hyena <laughs> such a beautiful pose I think maybe they're starting to get a little bit cold because the sun has gone down and it seems like the bigger one is curling up. <laughs> the little one doesn't want to be forgotten. I think it just raises the head to be like, yeah, I'm still here. I know you guys are there. <laughs> that is wonderful. Those tiny little faces. Now, as it starts getting older, then it's going to start becoming lighter and lighter in color until it gets that orangey tinge and lightish tinge to it. So it's very dark colors are going to start fading. We're going to start seeing a lot more of the spots and the hair is going to become shorter, slightly shorter, except for uh, the, the hair at the back of its head, almost like that mane, that mohawk that hyenas have got. That plays quite an important part when they're trying to intimidate each other as they can raise that hair and make themselves appear bigger than what they really are. Thus avoiding a confrontation just by showing off how big they they appear to be. So sweet. And your ears are so pretty and round. Very peaceful day today at the den. I wonder if perhaps they were playing around and running around like little hooligans earlier on. It seems like Intima is quite curious and she comes and she goes and she missions and she doesn't stand still. So I think <laughs> I, it's interesting to see this other side of her when she's a bit more tired and relaxed but yet quite alert. So it's almost like she's tired but she wants to carry on playing. Everything around her is it's too stimulating to actually want to go back down into the den and just stay there. Jackie, you're asking how often do these cubs need to eat? Well, the mothers will normally come and suckle them for maybe an hour at a time if they've been gone for quite a long time. And they've got very nutrient-rich milk. I think it's actually the most nutritious milk of all the predators out there. And they compensate for not taking them out on kills when they're this young or not bringing too many things back to the den by just having this very, very nutritious milk. Ah, yeah, there were some Franklins around, so somebody got a bit spooked. 
But the mothers, I would say, they would come and, and suckle them at least twice a day. And the little one, I would imagine that it would be a bit more frequent. You can actually check the book and find out. Because I know for certain species, like for example with warthogs, the mothers are known to come and have to suckle them about maybe 40 times in the space of a few hours. Hmm. All right, getting there. So they suck for 25 to 30 minutes at a time. There's more than one uh, females with Huh. Females with mouse cubs spent up to five hours a night attending them, often paying two visits. So it would seem like they come twice a day and maybe they suckle them in the interval when they are here. And so I think that's a good thing that they have little ones. So, but after parking them in the communal den, mothers pay only one visit a night and may leave juveniles older than eight months unattended for two to three nights. Hmm. Interesting, and they will not allow suckle each other. So a female or the mo they have different mothers, these two, they will not let the other cub suckle from them. It's very competitive in the hyena world, and it starts from a very young age. So I would imagine that they were here sometime this morning when Taylor was here, a and then they left. They Maybe they'll come back tonight. Hopefully they will, so that these little ones have a nice meal. Taylor has managed to find a beautiful spot to admire the sunset, so let's go over to her and see what the sun looks like today.